Hi guys, welcome to Verbling. My name is Joe, and today we are going to be focusing on reading, and particularly we're going to be reading newspaper articles. Um, so we're going to wait for some people to join. Hey Jay, hey Ahmad, Ahmad, hey Luis, hello, hey guys, how is everybody? I, I am great, and how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Alright, whew, looks like we can get started. So, hi guys, uh, today's hey. topic is focused on improving our reading skills, so we're going to be looking at some newspaper articles today. However, before we get started, I'd just like everybody to introduce themselves by saying um, your name, your country, and... And tell us a little bit about the weather today. So I'll start. My name's Joe. I'm from Arizona, from the United States. And today, during the day, it was it was actually kind of warm. I wasn't wearing a jacket, but then um, as the nighttime started to approach, it started to get a lot colder. So that's why I'm wearing a jacket now. Uh, but we'll start from the very left with Ahmad. Hello, everybody. My name is Ahmad. I am from Saudi Arabia. Uh, today the weather is uh, very changeable. <laughs> it was, uh, <laughs> it was uh, cold in the morning, then uh, it's getting uh, uh, a bit hot, but uh, become cold again. Uh, by the way, uh, nice haircut, uh, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I got all my hair cut off. <laughs> yeah, that's why I look uh, different. <laughs> Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Cool. <laughs> um. Okay. Bui Hong. Are you there? Bui Hong. Okay. Maybe she's adjusting her microphone. Uh, Jay. Nice to see you. Hello. I'm here. Hi. Oh, okay. Bui Hong. Hello. No, okay. Yes. <laughs> Uh, my name is Jang. I'm from Vietnam. My weather in my location is um, getting merry rain. Uh, not from uh, but um, west. What? Well, okay. You... Yeah, Sorry. Can, can, can you, you repeat me? that? Yeah. Now. We, yeah. We can hear you. Can you repeat that? Yes. Um, my um, uh, the weather in my location is getting merry rain. It's raining. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mist and rain. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, cool. Um, Jeremy, Jay. Hi, I'm uh, Jeremy. I'm from France, and the weather uh, is uh, not really beautiful today. Uh, Why sometime not? Sometimes rain, sometimes no. <laughs> so. Not not sun. Always rain and uh, dark uh, dark sky. Red and dark sky. Wow. Okay. Okay. So it did it. It did rain today, a little bit. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Uh, Laura. Hi, Chow. Hello. Hi. Well, I am Laura from Argentina. Um. Uh, the weather today it was very nice because we are in summer, but it was too hot, so we enjoyed a good day. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Cool. Awesome. Uh, Luis. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, I am from Peru, and this is my first time that I am talking on this. And this uh, chat, well, uh, the weather, uh, well, now it's 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 uh, summer, so it's really cold. It, no, it's really hot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. However, I for, I forgot a flu. You've got it, the flu. Well, yes. Oh, though, I'm sorry. Even, even though it, it's uh. It's going it's summer. Huh. So you have the flu in the summer. That's kind of interesting. That's different. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> okay. That's cool. Um, well, the flu isn't cool, but it's cool that it's summer and then it's hot. <laughs> Better than being cold. Cool. Uh, Maria? Hi, Joe. I like your haircut. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm from Colombia. Um, here where I live, always is summer, so all the days are really hot, so the sun is always shining. It's weird when raining, but yeah, today was okay. really, really hot day. Really hot day. Ooh, that's unfortunate. All right. Um, Motaz. Yes, you. Hello again. Nice to see you. Hello. Uh, I'm Motaz. I'm from Syria, and it's so cold right here. Actually, I'm wearing a, a hat and a scarf. Really? Yeah. <laughs> huh. All right. Do you like the cold? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> like All right. Summer. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a summer person too. So the cold is kind of not as enjoyable as the summer for me. All right. Um, Torilus is that how you pronounce your name? Uh, yeah, Troilus. Mm. Troilus. Yeah, Joel. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. Uh, I come from Man China mainland. Uh, the weather uh, uh, it's really a, a sunny day. And uh, but uh, but uh, it's cold, you know. And uh -huh. but but uh, in my dormitory is uh, it's warm. In your dorm, it's warm. That's good. Cool. Okay. Welcome. Um, Ziad, nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Hi. Hello. Um, my name is Ziad. I'm from Egypt. Um, it was a little bit cold today, and uh, it rained, but uh, I was indoor, so <laughs> I didn't get wet or something from the rain. Okay, good, good, okay, perfect. All right, uh, welcome guys, glad you guys are all here today. So, the main objective of this class is to focus on improving our reading skills. So, um, what we're going to be doing is... I'm going to be sharing my screen with you guys, and then together we're all going to pick. Um, we're going to pick out an article to read, and then we're going to take turns reading them. So, the 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 majority of the time in this class, we're just going to be reading articles. Um, so we'll be picking them out. So I don't have any articles picked out. You guys are going to tell me, you know, which ones to pick out, which ones you want to read, and then the way we're going to do it is, you know, one person will start reading, whoever volunteers, and then what we're going to do is, you know, they'll read, you know, a few sentences, maybe a paragraph, then they'll say the word popcorn, and when they say popcorn, they say like, oh, popcorn Laura. So then that means they, wherever they stopped, Laura has to continue. So that way everybody's paying attention, we're all listening, we're all helping each other out. If there's anything you need help pronouncing, I'm here to help. Everybody else is here to help. Um, so that's the way we're going to be doing that. If that sounds a little bit confusing, we'll do a few examples with the first article just so you guys understand what I mean. Um, so uh, before we get started, does anybody have any questions about anything related to English that they're unsure about that I can answer? No. Okay. Good. Okay. So uh, the main website we're going to be using today is just Yahoo News, um, and the reason I chose this one was because I felt like Yahoo News. It's even though it's not a popular news uh, source, but um, the language that they use, that the uh, reporters use when they're writing these articles, it's not super difficult to understand. Like they don't use a ton of big words, so it shouldn't be too difficult for you guys to read or, or understand. But if it is, um, then we can move on to like the New York Times, the Huffington Post, or a different um, news source. Uh, so what do you guys feel like reading today? Um, we have all these sections up top. We have the US, world, business, entertainment, sports, tech, all of these up top. So, what what do you guys feel like reading today? Sports. Sports. Okay. Um, okay. 
Uh, what kind of sports? We have NFL, MLB, NBA, NCAAF, NCAAB, soccer, cycling, NHL, tennis, golf, boxing, motorsports, MMA, and Olympics. I like soccer. NBA. I don't know what there is. I like N play basketball. So we have NBA and soccer. So how many people want NBA and how many people want soccer? So NBA for me. NBA for me too. Okay, so it sounds like we have three for NBA and two for soccer. Soccer. Anybody else? Three for soccer? Soccer. Three, three. Okay. Three, three on three. Yes, three. Yes. What was that? So we got, okay, how about we do one of NBA, then we'll do one of soccer. Does that sound good? Yeah, yeah sure. Okay, cool. NBA, okay. So, NBA. Um... How about we read here? We'll click on this one. New Year's resolutions. I don't. Hopefully, this isn't a video. Um, okay, it is. Um, so let's go to an article. Here we go. Um, Nets. Here we go. Nets beat Wizards, 115 to 113 in double overtime. It sounds like a good game. Okay. So. Um, can everybody see this okay? Is it is it big enough or should I zoom in? No, please zoom in a little bit. No. Is that good? Yeah. Or, yeah. It's only if you cool. type in the link. You want you want the link to here. If anybody wants the link, here I'll put it for you guys. Um okay. So here's the link. So I'll have it on my screen. You can click on it in the verb link chat if you'd like to open it. So um, the way it's going to work is, so for example, let's say I read the first line. Exactly three hours after the game started, Joe Johnson finally won an exhausting game for the Brooklyn Nets. Popcorn Lauda. Then Lauda starts right here. And she could say, Johnson's 18-footer with 0.7 seconds left in the second overtime. Popcorn. And then she could say... Um, Jeremy. So then Jeremy would have to start right here where it says lifted the nets. So do you guys understand how this popcorn process works? Could you post the link here in uh, Google chat box? Yes, of course. Okay, so there it is. I, when I want to stop breathing, I'll say popcorn? Yes. And then you say popcorn in somebody else's name. Yeah. Okay, so does everybody understand? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, would anybody like to start? Any volunteer? Okay. All right. Go for it. Okay. Uh, Washington. Uh, exactly three months after the game started, Joe uh, Joe Jason finally won an um, exhausting game for the Brooklyn Nets. Popcorn. Um, what else? Thank you. Johnson's 18 footer with 0 0.7 seconds left in the second overtime lifted the nets to, to uh, 115? Yeah. Right. 115. 13 victory yeah. over the Washington Wizards on Friday night. Popcorns, yeah. Again? Again? <laughs> you can, yeah, you can do that, yeah. You can call back to the same person or back to somebody else. Okay. Uh, Bradley Beals, two free uh, throws tied the score at 113 with 9.1 point sec uh, with nine point one seconds to play before Jason Johnson, uh, who had 18 points. Had the shot that improved uh, Brooklyn to four to one under in trend coach E.J. Carlesmo. Popcorn, uh, Jeremy. That's what big big time player do. We we put him in a good position to make the play, and we made the play. Carlesimo said, "Popcorn." Uh, mm, Maria? 
Washington double, double team Johnson as it had early, earlier in the game, but this time he knew it was coming. Popcorn to Laura. In that situation, man, I seen the double team coming, and I just took one hard dribble and pull up for a jumper, Johnson said. Popcorn by Hunk. Well, look my head. Seven try on and Christian mm, Vicon for the last and Vicon William S. Twenty four high and ten aces. You can keep going or you can popcorn. Okay. Laura, please. Okay. Bill had a career high 24 points. Jordan Crawford scored 23 points on Nand, who pulled out in the first overtime, had 24 Washington, which lost its fourth in a row and is now 4 to 27th. Uh, popcorn, Luis. Wait, Luis, before you start, real quick. Um, right here, when it's talking about scores, you probably, nobody probably knew this, but um, when it's talking about scores, on the left is talking about wins, on the right is loses. So what they say is, the way you would read that is, which lost its fourth in a row and is now 4 and 27. So you say 4 and 27. But the other one, um, when we were saying like the game um, ended up being 115 to 113, um, that's because it's like one team against another, so that's why you say two for this. But then when you're talking about like the record of a team, since it's just one team, it's just talking about wins and losses, so you say four and 27. Just a, a note for that. But um, yeah, Luis, you can continue now. Uh, okay. Sorry, uh, F-O-U-L-E-D is pronounced as fouled or fold? Fouled. Okay. Good question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, how many times we've been here? I I've lost count and expect expected Koch Randy Whitman said after Martin Webster's jumper gave the Wizards uh, 107 and 104 leads to begin this second overtime, Gerard Wallace made a layup and Kate Bogans covered a three-point plate in a layup for a 111 and two 107 lead with 321 to play. Pop turn to Maria. I'm lost. I'm lost. You're lost. We're right here. Yeah. <laughs> Bill hit a three-pointer. Bill hit a three-pointer as the first overtime ended to tie the score at 140. It was four. Is what the second time Washington extended the game at the hole. Nene hit a hook shot to tie it at 93 in regulation. Popcorn to Mo Motas. Yes, uh, the Wizards scored the first eight points of overtime to take a 101 in 93 lead. The try, Joe? Uh, there you say, so it's talking about the Wizards versus the Nets, uh, so it's 101 to 93. Yeah, 293 lead with. <coughs> can, I, uh, can I say two for this one too? Okay. Yeah, for th for this one you say one, two, um seven. you say one twenty seven left with one twenty seven left with uh because uh, they're talking about time. Yes, one twenty seven. Uh huh. With one twenty seven left, but the Nets later scored eleven straight for a one four to one 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 hundred and one yep. lead. Yeah, one hundred and four to a hundred and one. 
with 3.4 seconds left before Bill's shot. Popcorn Jeremy. Uh, yes, uh, but like it's up a lie when we should have been died and we never should have been died to begin with. Whitman says, the thing that's disturbing is that we do the same mistake over and over again. If you was closing the game out, when a guy the bullet, you have to move the bone. Um, Jeremy Blaze. It was the third straight. How pronounce that? Sorry. Uh, straight. Straight. Okay. There you go. It, it was the third stretch win in overtime for Brooklyn and Washington fit straight low lows in Hochi. Just one one down to the wire. There was nothing they were were really doing that was killing us. We were nicked and we can nick the whole time. Bill said, popcorn, uh, Laura. The game, the game featured the return huh? of Andre Blatt, who was let go by Washington last summer after seven stormy seasons. The Wizards used the amnesty for vision on Blatt, who was banished from the team by Whitman last March for poor condition. Popcorn Ahmad. Blatt was, boo uh, was booed by the crowd when he entered with just under five minutes to play in the first quarter. Moments later, with the crowd still booing, uh, he hit his first shoot and then drew love when he tripped as he ran down the court he had 13 points and 12 rebounds good Popcorn. yeah Popcorn. okay it seems, yeah. it seems that you guys miss somebody and me uh, i pro i i i even do not uh Read it. You um, have not read that? Okay, then how about you read, and then after that, um, I'm going to say something. Um, so, we, right here, I probably screwed up by not playing. Okay. I probably screwed out by not playing him more than I did. Car Carlos Simo said, there is a lot of people that would not have been able to handle the situation. The first time back, he didn't hand it. Uh, he thrived, thrived in it. Good. Okay. okay. Um, uh, this article is kind of long. I didn't realize it was so long. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. We're at the we're at the end. Um, hey, okay. Can I can I ask you a question? Yes. Hold on. Somebody's. Uh, uh, yes. Question. Uh, what does screwed up mean? Screwed up means like to mess up. Like, like let's say um, you're supposed to pick up your, your brother from his job um, like in 20 minutes. And then in 20 minutes, you're, you know, you forget about it. And then, you know, 10 minutes goes by. And then you go and then you realize, oh, man, I screwed up. I didn't pick up my brother 20 minutes ago. So it's like you mess up, you do something wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh huh. Any other questions? Okay. Um. Let's see. Okay, we have we have like four. We're almost done with this. So, um, Blatch said he didn't care about the crowd's reaction. The thing is, the booing didn't affect me at all because I don't play for them. They're supposed to boo me. Uh, they're supposed to go against me, Blatch said. Popcorn. Um, how about Ziad? Okay, uh, the Wizards started off quickly, shooting 9 of uh, 11 as they took uh, a 20 to 10 lead with 627 to play in the first quarter and led 30 to uh, 20 after 1. 
popcorn, um, um, bohong. Yes, I'm, I'm lost, please, the uh, hear me. We're right here, the last one, in the second quarter, Washington stretched. Um, in the second, Washington progresses the list to um, 26 and uh, 22 before the next hit for uh, consecutive um, three points to cut the deficit. Deficit? The deficit to choose. The width is less than 5 to 5 and uh, 52 at the half time behind 20, 23 point by Nels and Grofos. Good, good, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, that was a difficult one. Good yes. job, guys. Okay, so that article is a little bit longer than I thought it would be. Um, let's see. There might be... So so basically, it was just a really good game. The Nets versus the Wizards. Double overtime. Um, Nets won. Uh, Blatch. He returned. He was let go by the Washington Wizards. Um, everybody was kind of... It seemed like everybody was unhappy. But he was saying, you know, Oh, well, let them be unhappy. Let them boo me. Um, that's what's motivating me to do better. So it looks like here are a few photos of the game. Joe Johnson puts up the game-winning shot over the Washington Wizards to give the Nets a 115-113 win. Cool. Okay. Good. Good job, guys. Um, so yeah, that that was a article about basketball, the NBA, National Basketball Association. If you didn't know. Um, so that's the basketball league in the United States. Um, good. Okay. Um, does anybody have any questions about any of the words we went over or the pronunciation of any words? Yeah, I have one. Okay. Is it uh, boomy when the crowd make that sound boo or something? Yeah, so booing is, so here it says Blatch was booed by the crowd. So booing is like, boo, yeah. boo, you yeah. suck. Yeah. So that's booing. Uh huh. Good question. Any other questions? No other questions. Okay. Good. Um. All right. So um. Another good thing, you know, besides reading articles, um, another good way to practice reading is to find an online audiobook like for example I was reading the Chronicles of Narnia in Spanish and we had a uh, we had like an audio CD that was that we my teacher found online so we would kind of read along and listen to it so that will you know you'll hear the words pronounced correctly and it's a good way to practice listening and reading at the same time um, good okay so I think the next one we were going to do was soccer right but can I ask you something? Yeah, of course. Before soccer? Of course. Can you translate this MLB in HL? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. So, NFL, National Football League, uh, like American football. MLB is Major League Baseball. Um, yeah. NBA, National Basketball Association, NHL, National Hockey League. Uh, NCAAF. I think, oh, that's... um. The National Col uh, no National College Collegiate Association of Football. Maybe I'm. Hold on, let me double check that one. Um, one's for basketball, one's for football, though. National Collegiate Athletic Association. So that's NCAA. Um, so this one's for football. This one's for basketball. NASCAR. I don't know what that stands for. Golf, you mm -hmm. UF, UF, what's NASCAR stand for? Cars and something like this. Yeah, well, yeah, that, yeah, that's what it's about. Uh huh, exactly. Golf, UFC, uh, United Fighting Club. Boxing, yeah. yeah, it's 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 fighting basically. Fighting. Boxing, soccer is like football. Um, and I think that's it. 
Yeah, good question. Any mm -hmm. other questions? Of course. Any other questions? Okay. So, uh, now we can choose another article. Would you guys like to do another sports article or something else? Something else. Something else. Okay. So if we go back, oops. Um, let's see. Yahoo. Uh, news. Darn it. Sorry, we we're just there. We go. News. Okay. Uh, so what would you guys like to do now? Any. Anything you guys would like to do in particular? Entertainment, sports, technology, po politics, science, health, blogs, well, technology, maybe. Technology and politics. Okay, so who wants to do technology and who wants to do politics? Technology. 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 Okay. I think technology wins. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. Okay. How about this one? Five things to us to expect at CES 2013. Does anybody know what CES stands for? I don't know. Oh. I don't either, so let's see. C -E Sorry, what was it? CES. Um, Consumer Electric Show? Okay. Cool. Okay. So this one isn't too long. Um, so same thing. Would anybody like to volunteer and start first? Post the link, please. Okay. Yeah, share, please. Yeah, the link. Um, here we go. And then I'll put it in the Google as well. There we go. Okay. So there's the link. Uh, would anybody like to volunteer and start first? Okay, Me? start again. <laughs> You can start again? Okay. Okay. Um, Las Vegas lights up new uh, next week, not with its usual bright lights, but with thousands and thousands of gadgets and electronic devices. The annual CES show is, uh, is here, and while we have our dub, um, doubts that this show will be as big as it has been in the years past. Everyone from Samsung to Sony to Toshiba to thousands of gadget companies you have never heard of will be uh, packing the Las Vegas Convention Center with their new um, wares. Popcorn, um, Laura. Uh, yo, uh, can I ask you a question? Yes. Well, uh, I have some problems with phrasal verbs. For example, in, in the first paragraph, uh, when you say Las Vegas lights up, and do you necessarily have to use up, lights up? Yeah, light up is like, you could use it as in like, like if I, wait, who's asking this? Sorry, I can't see. Uh, Ahmad, is that you? No, not me, no. I, I ask you. Oh, Luis. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Luis, so you might say, like, if I said, hey, Luis, you just won a thousand dollars. Your face, I could say, like, oh, after I told Luis that, his face lit up. Um, that's a good example, but yeah, you have to say, light up is like, like this, like, Las Vegas lights up Nevada. Here, um, Las Vegas, la, this, the annual CES show lights up Vegas. So it's just a phrasal verb. I don't know. I don't know where it comes from, but um, it's like the idea of things like being illuminated and and uh, changing from like kind of boring to like more exciting and like lighting up. Uh -huh. So like usually, usually Las Vegas is lit up with lots of uh, stores and places and casinos and. Um, stuff like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank you. Yep, no problem. Any other questions? No. Okay. Uh, who did you say, Ziad? Uh, Loro. Okay. Every year, a few trends emerge from the show that helps set the tone for the rest 
of the year in tech. Think back to 2012 and you might remember hearing a lot about connected TVs, Ultrabox laptops and Android and Windows 8 tablets. So what is in store for CES 2013? Here are five of our expectations. Um, popcorn, try loose. Okay. Oh. I have a question. Uh, okay. Sorry, Trillis. Uh, uh, question? About the year, you say 2013 or 2013? You can say both, 2013 or 2013. Okay. Good question. Okay. Uh, All right, now you can search. HD televisions at C. What? I can start. Yeah. Uh, HD televisions at C. As uh, shocker, we we know. But get ready for HD times four. Uh, except to hear the t term ultra HD over the next week, a lot. Ultra HD or for 4K 4K HD TVs have four times and uh, four times the revolution uh, res resolution of current HD televisions. Yes, that means every higher resolution than the 118 118 PhD TV you bought this year or last. I, I'm confused about what what are they talking about. Um, so, okay, so here HDTV, HD stands for high definition. So it's like Blu-ray, that's like high definition, stuff like that. Um, what they're saying is that in this 1080p, that's a resolution for like HDTV. So they're saying that um, at this show, one of the things that you'll see will be more HD TVs, but instead of just HD TVs, they're going to be ultra HD, which means that they're four times the resolution of current HD TVs. So they're just going to be like more clear, better. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. More pixel. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, next to. Uh, this one. Ah Ahmad. Ah uh -huh. Ahmad. Yeah. Okay. Many companies are expected to release or show off their new Ultra HD TVs this year. Sony already has one, but it costs uh, $25,000. Uh, oh my uh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Many of uh, the others introduced are expected to be expensive. But we also expect uh, some of the affordable TV makers to talk about their plans. We promise we will be all over this category in regular, in, in regular definition. Uh, popcorn. Uh, Jeremy? Okay. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I have a question again. Okay, okay. Uh, is it category or category? Uh, category. I would say category. Category. Okay. So like the, uh, the stress is on the beginning. Category. Uh, I have another question. Okay. Uh, what does it uh, show off mean? Show off is like to boast about. So it's like, like if I were to say, "Oh, guys, look! I just bought a Ferrari. Check, check out my car. I'm so cool. I'm showing off my car to you. I'm cooler no. than you." So it's yeah, that's okay. Showing off. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh huh. Uh, you can stop. Yes. Okay. <coughs> well, reliable and other gadgets that pair with your phone. This year, the CES is not expected to be all about smartphones. Many of the big smartphone makers, HTC, Nokia, Samsung, etc., seem to be saving their biggest announcement for Mobile World Congress. A, mo a mobile trade show 
held in Barcelona at the end of February. But we do expect the years to be all about the hardware device that work with your phone or tablet. Uh, popcorn, uh, Maria. Okay, so uh, we are not talking about the speakers, dot. Yeah, yeah. So, so there will be a lot of those. Many were were what I pronounce this word we wearable. We, yeah, wearable. Wearable devices like the Fitbit or Homebone app pair with your phone to tell you more about your fitness activity. There will be even more of those those types coming at the show. And Pebble, the marker of the popular smartwatch, has even promised to show us a working version of the watch. We also expect many companies to talk about the connected home and how 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 your phone can control everything from your light bulb to your do doorbell. Uh, phone core to Bouillon? Bouillon? Yes, the... Uh, those uh, bliss sounds, uh, I'm, I'm lost. Sorry, somebody has a really loud background noise. Yes, uh, I, I'm reading uh, from your screen. Master, you, uh, you do not show me. What what was that? Wei Hong? Yes, I'm reading but the police saw me uh, the paper. I, I don't see anything. Okay, here it is. So we're right here. Three self driving and smarter cars. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, can I read now? Yeah. Yes, uh, self driving and uh, smarter cars. It may not be the new shop or uh, uh, LI. Auto sound, but the cars are arriving in for CS, Toyota, and Audi have um, announced. Announced, thanks. That's they fly to demand choice. They are safe driving cars and other life forms and holding rest consistent to talk more about their kinetics in that technology. Please. Okay. Joe? Yes. I have a question. All right. What is Dash Technologies? In Dash Technology. Yeah. So, so, here, I'm going to pull up a picture of what we call um, the dashboard. Okay. So, Right here. So look, this is a car inside of a car. This up here, when it says in dash technologies, it's referring to right here because this whole thing at the top is called your dashboard. So okay. in dash technology refers to the, the gadgets right here. Okay. I understand. Thanks. Yeah. Yep, no problem. Any other questions? All right. Lauda, number four. Okay. More Windows 8. So, what is in store for tablets and computers, you ask? CES 2012 saw a number of new Android tablets and a lot of talk about Microsoft Windows 8, which was the release in October. And while Microsoft isn't officially at the show this year, you can expect more Windows a tablet laptop and tablet laptop hybrid. While many of the major companies Dell, HP, Lenovo, Toshiba, Samsung realize Windows released Windows A tablet and computer before the holiday. You might be surprised at what some were holding back. We are also holding out for some interesting tablet concepts from Intel and Video and others. Uh, popcorn to Jeremy. Okay. Uh, we are headphone 
Five, exactly. Uh, yeah, five headphones with every yeah. <clears throat> Headphone from every celebrity you know. As someone recently said to a celebrity headphone, I like the new celebrity perfume. CES always turned into Hollywood outpost with lots of celebrity appearance, talk and performance. But this year, the, sorry, but these years the celebrities are coming with with their own product, and by products we really we really mean headphones, a uh, popcorn, a uh, Ziad. Okay. So, Dr. Dre kicked off the turnit with Pete's by, Do by Dre, and now you have to, uh, you have 50 Cent, Snooki, uh, Tim Tebow, uh, Motor Motorhead, Lemmy, Kill, oh, a lot of names, <laughs> Kill Mr. Yes, Motor Headphones, and even more with their own branded headphones or lines uh, of audio gear. Popcorn, um, uh, trolley, trolleys. Okay. Where is it? We're at the last That's line it. for number five. Last line. Uh, as some recent headphone from every celebrity, you know. As no, 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 down to right here. Down you could spend to. all your time. Uh, you could spend all your time at CES just uh, covering the celebrities. We are not going to do that, but uh, we promise to bring you the highlights. Good. Okay. Good job, guys. Um, one thing, this word right here. Um, does anybody know how what the proper pronunciation of this word is? Celebrity. Celebrity. There you go. Perfect. Celebrity. 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 Uh huh. Good. Celebrity. Celebrity. Uh huh. Does anybody have any questions about any of the words from this article? Yes. Uh, yeah. I have a question. All right. Uh, w i t h is pronounced like with or with. Sorry, how do you spell it? Uh, the th and the uh, in the end is pronounced like uh, um, the or like thing. You know what I mean? Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to see where you're where you're talk what you're talking about. We have the and we have that and there. No, no, with. Oh, with. with lots. Uh, is it pronounced like with or with? Uh, oh, right here. Okay. And even more with. I say with. You could say with. It's the same thing. It just depends on who's pronouncing it, but I say with. Okay. But I've heard both. Who Did somebody else have a question? Uh, I, 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 I want to know the main of... Uh, Hybrids, H-Y-B-R-I-D-S. Hybrid, okay. Hybrid. Okay, hybrid is like the mix of two things. Um, so let's say your mom is Chinese and your dad is Mexican, then you could say like you're a hybrid of the two. Um, yeah, yes. I know it. Yeah. Any other questions? I I have a question. Okay. Yeah, in paragraph four. Okay. Where are the names like Jail AP? How how do you pronounce all that name? Um, Dell, HP, Lenovo, Toshiba, Toshiba, uh, Toshiba, Samsung, etc. And Windows ah. and In Android. Intel? Intel oh, and oh, oh, Intel. Uh, that one? I'm not sure. I've never even heard of that one. Niv, uh, Nvidia? Maybe? Nvidia. It's Nvidia. Nvidia, yes. Okay, thank you. Nvidia, okay. Nvidia. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Any other questions?
Yes, I have a question. In the last uh, subtitle, in the num number five, in the second paragraph, number five, uh, then the phrase verb kicked off. Uh, the meaning of that phrase verb? Kick off is like to start or begin. So um, it's used in football. Um, you can use it with like a company and say like, uh, um, like you could say like Facebook just kicked off. When you start uh, doing something? Yeah, it's like Dr. Dre kicked off the trend. Like Dr. Dre began the trend with Beats by Dre. So it's like to begin something, to like to debut it, to start it. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And the uh, other question is in number four in the second paragraph and holding out. Holding out is like to like not tell you about it. So like we're also holding out for some interesting tablet concepts. So it's like the 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 people who wrote this article, they're holding out on us, which means they have information about interesting tablet concepts that they're not telling us because they're holding out. They're holding out. Uh, like if somebody, nice. it's like if you have good news for me, and you're like, oh, I'll tell you later. Then I'd be like, then I could say, oh, stop holding out on me. Just tell me already. Like holding out is like not telling. Uh, like a secret. Exactly, like a secret. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Good questions. Any other questions? No. Okay. Um, so we have nine minutes left. Let's see if maybe we can find a short article. Um, one more on tech or politics, science, health, entertainment, business. Entertainment. Entertainment. Could be. Okay. Uh, okay. Videos. <laughs> Videos. Um, let's see. Here we go. Let's let's read about Justin Bieber. <laughs> um, okay, this is this is kind of long. I think we can get it done though. Um, um, okay. Does anybody want to start, or how about I'll start? Justin Bieber is taking the high road. After TMZ posted pictures of him smoking what appears to be marijuana, the Beauty and the Beat singer took Twitter to address his millions of fans. Popcorn Maria. Every day growing, um, learning, trying to be the way. You get now down or you get up. Then the uh, 18 years old pop star wrote on the microblogging site. January 5. I see all of you and I hear all of you. I never want to let any of you down. I love you. Of course, to Jay, Jeremy. Okay. Um, Bieber didn't address the post smoking pics exactly, but he did aloud. How pronounce that? Allude. Allude. Okay, allude. But they did allude to facing. New challenge and new doctors. I'm ready. We are ready. See you all tomorrow and every day after that. He treats back and to tomorrow. Ready to see you. Or smile. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> time to time to do what I'm supposed to be doing. Performing. Uh, popcorn. Hamad. Uh, oh, okay, uh, it's been an, an interesting week for the teen idol, to say the least. Earlier, uh, a Papa Razo was killed while trying to photograph the singer's Ferrari in Los Angeles. Uh, Weber was not in the vehicle at the time, but expressed his condo lenses for the photographer's loved ones in a statement. Uh, popcorn. Diego? While I was not 
person not directly involved with a tragic accident, he said, does um, break with a family the victim. We focus on um, as admin. It's a, it's over, I think. Yeah, it's it's over. It just says the article. This article originally appeared on usmagazine.com. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Good. Good job, guys. That one wasn't too long or too difficult. Does anybody have any questions about any of the vocabulary or pronunciation? Condolences. 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 Um. I know what that means. I'm not sure how to best describe it. Condolences. Let's see. Let's see what dictionary.com says. Um, so it's the expression of symphony with a person who is suffering sorrow, misfortune, or grief. It's usually used with people who have died. So like here it says um, expressed his condolences, which is like his sympathy for the photography's loved ones. So it's like symphony, or sim sympathy, sorry, sympathy. So it's like he understands, like, ah, uh, you know, people die, accidents happen, and I'm sorry about that. So his expression of sympathy. Good question. Any other questions, or questions? Um, how about a vehicle? V-E-H-I-C-L-E. Wait, sorry, where is that? Uh... In the last sentence, I know, I don't know, I can't say it. Victim? V E H I C L E. Vehicle. I, okay. I don't know. Vehicle? Vehicle. Here. V E H I C L E. Yeah. Vehicle. Yeah. Vehicle. Vehicle. Okay. V vehicle. Vehicle. No, not not we vehicle. Vehicle. No, you're saying it sounds like you're saying vehicle with a W, but it's vehicle. 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 Like, like Victor. Victor. Yeah, there you go. That sound is the V on the front, so it's vic vehicle. Vehicle. You there mean? you go. There you go. Uh huh. Vehicle. Okay. Vehicle. Okay. Good. Um, yeah. Any other? What does that mean? A vehicle is like, like a car is a vehicle. You could say a bicycle is a vehicle. It's like something that helps you transport yourself somewhere else, or like used for uh, as a mode of transportation. Oh, transportation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, and you? Yeah. Uh, please. Uh, how do you spell this word, please? I have type. The word. Okay. Yeah. Um, can you see the word? I have typed it. Uh, sorry. Let me... Oh, doubters. Yeah. Doubters. So, that, that word was just, like, invented on the spot. So, doubt is like when you don't believe in something. Like, for example, I could say, I doubt you speak Russian or something like that. Um, doubters just is, like, to create... Uh, like a person from it. So like I yeah. could say, um, oh, you don't believe in me, uh, Laura doesn't believe in me, Carlos doesn't believe in me, you guys are all doubters. Like you don't uh, believe in me. The people who don't believe in it. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Any other questions? No, thanks. No. Okay. Um, we have two minutes left. Um... If you guys do, if you guys have any other questions, you can ask me right now. Even if it's not related to the articles that we read. Um, otherwise, thank you for coming. If you have any suggestions or any comments or complaints or anything, um, you can contact me on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com/slash Joe Verbling, um, or just recommendations for new classes. You can do that. Um, so just do that. Um, I'm going to get my next class started so that you guys can get ready to click join. 
Um, but thank you guys for coming. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.